Hello, my dear MDS aspirants, Dr. Amit Lal once again this side. So on a lot of public demand, I'm recording this session just for you guys to understand what exactly you have to do if you're planning to do MDS in conservative dentistry and endodontics. The branch name clearly says it has got two segments. One is conservative, that is restorative dentistry. Second is endodontics, that is full of endo root canal treatments and all that rehabilitation of a tooth which is like deeply carious you know the inside details let's talk about the branch the future and how to become rich famous and successful if you are planning to do mds in cons endo let us talk first about endo as a branch see trust you me on this endo is considered as the safest cleanest complete branch when it comes to somebody who is planning to start his or her own clinic right no need, no, uh, like you can say doubt on this. An endodontist is a, you can say the most uh, apt person to run a private practice very efficiently, successfully, and a lot of in future, it is always going to grow. The reason being the most common patient in your clinic is always the patient with the pain. Pain can be handled either through root canal or through sensitivity treatment or through periodontal treatment or last is extractions. So generally an endodontist is very good in handling the first two part along with the perio little bit of knowledge of perio will help you in this regard that is why you always have a topic of endo perio relationship the relationship does not mean marriage but yes if it is a marriage then it is icing on the cake right rightly then comes the last part that is the extraction if you are good in extractions then your clinic is all the way going to boom up no doubt in that so Anybody who is planning to settle in tier 1, 2, 3, 4, endo is the choice if you want to start your clinic immediately after MDS. Here I would like to pinpoint one very important thing. I am going to release a video also on this. Just I am telling you the crux of one very important aspect. Dentistry as a speciality or super speciality whatever you call was never a job oriented stream. Okay. It was always like for people who wish to get self-employment that is settled down on their own via clinics or maybe collaborations. But all those who believe dentistry will give you a lot of jobs after BDS or MDS, guys, you are mistaken. It is, I'll share a nice video on this, which might help you in your future decisions. Coming back to the endo, then scope of endo. Endo has got a lot of like a vast spectrum of uh, treatment modalities covering it like right from prevention caries management restorations then root canals then post root canal treatment options then nowadays microscopic endodontics a lot of things are there and then comes the part of uh, rehabilitation which is the prosto part yes most of the endodontists are doing crowns nicely because they have an very good control over their handpiece while working and this these factors small small things matter a lot okay so if you are an endodontist and you learn little bit skills good skills of fixed prosthodontics that is doing a good crown prep doing a good post and core doing a good crowns then you are going to be super successful no doubt in that but here comes a catch Whenever we talk about this branch, cons endo, we always and always talk about endo. Very rarely people talk about the other half that is the conservative dentistry. What I have seen in my last 20 years of existence as a practitioner in New Delhi, all the endodontists like MDS in cons endo are 99% endodontists by heart and hardly 0.1 to 1% endodont conservative dentists by heart profession what it means is they are super trained they are very well versed with the root canal treatment endodontics part of the branch but they are less trained less you can say interested and less efficient people will kill me for this but this is a fact most of the mds endodontics are not super skilled when it comes to the conservative industry by super skilled i means the branch of conservative has a lot of wings coming towards aesthetics and cosmetic and that is the most ignored part i can give you examples that prove them like very clearly that what i am saying is absolutely true the topmost cosmetic and aesthetic dentists in india have been 
either oral pathologist or oral medicine people or BDS graduates or prosthodontist or even like in today's world I salute Dr. Uh, Vishal Gupta sir like he is the champion of champions in composites and he is an orthodontist. This is not because others are interested in cosmetics it's because MDS Consento guy is least interested in conservative. He is super interested in endo all the same time 24 7 and here comes the void here comes the opportunity. See opportunity is there in every field you have to see where is the void and that's where you try to fill in right. If you after MDS in cons endo you will be definitely efficient in endodontics but you keep on adding upgrading a lot of things in relation to cosmetics. There are a lot of things in um, India also available. IA, CD platform is there. Then American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry is there. You, there is no limit to learning and upgrading your skills. If you do that, you can be in the top of the league. No doubt. And yes, the clinic option is always a good for that. Then comes a small topic. Endo, uh, MDS endo in a government or a private college. Usually if you visit any government or private college, Maximum OPD is seen with OMR and then next is endo and oral surgery, right? So generally decently good colleges also have a good OPD of endo again because most of the patients come with the pain. So if you choose your college wisely with a decent OPD, but most importantly the guide, if the PG guide is good, you will learn a lot of things. Definitely the infrastructure also matters. The college should support you. In terms of the recent advances what is happening in the branch but yes over a period of time what people have observed is endodontics as a branch has stopped being going into that too much of research work there are a lot of research going on in perio prosto pedo ortho but very less in this segment of dentistry that is endo that is a hard fact okay settling down in tier one two three four the branch will always support you no problem in that there is hardly any cons of cons endo which i can discuss it's like you do your mds in cons endo and you are not proficient then it is going to be a problem if you do mds and you are lagging in the basic aspect of diagnosis caries management good restorations good rct you will always be in trouble. But if you are efficient in all these, nobody can stop your growth in any tier city. Yes, there is always a question that endodontist has a competition with BDS graduates. Yes, you do have because BDS graduates, some are doing excellent RCTs. But there is always one aspect which you have to understand. If you are a skilled, educated and trained endodontist and a restorative dentist, nobody can do better than you. Okay, so if have confidence in yourself after during and after the post graduation that will support you nothing and like nothing less it will keep on adding value because where comes the picture the role play of MDS endo is in cases of retreatment. The retreatment part is where people don't jump into so easily and where you fit in. See what happens is. Try imagining a situation there is a BDS graduate doing RCT and there is an MDS person looking at the same RCT. The knowledge, the timeline of difference, the experience of the difference of experience between the two is huge, right? Your endodontist will come through a lot of studies, a lot of readings, a lot of practice and then doing the RCT which has very less chances of failure. Okay, but on the other hand, if there is no education backing your uh, mechanical skills, it is going to be not a very good proposition. So when it comes to a graduate versus a postgraduate, it's always the postgraduate who is going to have an edge when it comes to the same treatment, same tooth, same root canal. Okay. So never underestimate the power of education, your degree, your experience, your skill, right? Not in anything. Yes, tier one will have more competitions, but tier one will also have a lot of consultations available. Usually endodontists are being called off by one or two clinics attachments. They take up say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one clinic, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, another clinic and that's pretty enough for a good engagement. The corporate chains are also always hiring endodontists. So that's not a bad thing. 
but yes the competition is going to bound to be there between a lot of uh, neighboring dentists so it takes time to settle down but if you are doing justice to your own field you are good in your uh, um, other skills as patient management skills talking and clinical efficiency then nothing can stop in longer run so it is a very good proposition for all those who want to settle fast who want to have a peaceful life and yet have a decent career in making money becoming famous and successful see when it comes to talking about famous there are a lot of channels if you are extraordinary okay i think i missed out in my previous video but here i can tell you if you are extraordinary talent during your mds that you should try to be what you have not done in your bds try to do in it mds read a lot what maximum possible study 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 practice 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 do a lot of patients if possible never say no to anything related to your academics and patient work in your mds like once you come out of mds 3 years you should be the master of that subject if that is the case scenario you will get absorbed by some big uh, like uh, institutions for public speaking courses and all or maybe some corporate uh, big dental companies to become their brand ambassadors and help them impart education and sell the materials they want to this is how you start the journey of becoming famous in any and every branch so endo is a safe bet not a problem much until unless you are failing at your own end so thank you have a great day keep watching this space for more videos like this thank you